Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are home now. We got back from our spring break vacation and it was so much fun. It was what I needed, except for I was also exhausted because it was a lot. Nine hours in the car with the kids and then nine stop without Brian away for seven days it was a lot and i was exhausted but we made a lot of memories and so that's what matters and now we're home and we are starting to kind of sort of settle back into some sort of routine Mommy. yes savannah so we're kind of sort of starting to settle back into a routine. When we got back, I immediately started working on our garage remodel. We're remodeling the garage to use it as a studio. Um, it's basically going to be like a free-for-all creative studio. Um, going to have space for painting, space for building and making for the kids. Um, space for sewing, a uh, space for photography and filming, and that is where I am right now. So I'm really excited. It's coming together little bits at a time. There's still a lot of mess that needs to be cleared out, <laughs> but we're slowly working our way through and it's coming together, so I'm excited. Anyway, I thought I would just jump back in with a homeschool haul. I haven't really purchased too many items up until now. And you guys, when I was in North Carolina, let me just say that there were so many Ollie's everywhere. And they're like big Ollie's. And I'm a fan of Ollie's because I love to shop for homeschool things, but I do not like to spend a lot of money, especially for items that I'm not going to use a lot. And you guys know that we use a lot of electronic type of items for our homeschool. So I would say about 80% of my homeschool budget goes to um, trips and savings and then also into electronics. Like, so you guys know we have iPads and we have laptops and I buy apps and things like that and so that is where and we use that for our curriculum so that is where the majority of our homeschool budget goes to but every now and then i like to go out and get um lots of books oh we use our library card heavily so i don't buy as many books as i would if you know that wasn't such a big resource for me so anyway i thought i would pop in really quickly and show you guys what i got um the majority of this stuff is from when we went to Ollie's and if you're following me on our vlog channel then you saw what it was like when we were in the Ollie's it was amazing it was huge um, I wanted to go to more than one but we just had so many things going on that week that I just didn't get to get to everything but um but we did go to one Ollie's and it was huge and it was wonderful and um, I did get a bunch of items so the majority of this stuff is from Ollie's there is one or two items that are from Amazon and then what else do I have oh a few art supply items are from Ikea so a lot of the things that I got for, got for the studio are from Ikea and so along with that I went ahead and just picked up um, some art supplies because we were running low the first thing I'll start with are the two items that I got from Amazon. I actually purchased these a, several weeks ago, but you guys know that my kids have been loving the Bible Read and Share DVDs. Um, and they had, I think the volume they had may have been volume three. I'm pretty sure but they know the stories front to back and it's made our Bible lessons even better because they're already familiar with the stories and they, they pretty much are excited to learn when we get into our Bible stories because they already know about them from watching these Bible DVDs and I love them so I went ahead and picked up um, two more of the volumes I just got volume one and volume two. Who knows why I had volume three to begin with, but that's but that's what it was. So anyway, I just went ahead and picked up the other two volumes and they have been inhaling these. I think they're a really good purchase. They're fairly inexpensive. They ship really quickly because it's Amazon Prime. And yeah, we love these. The next things I'll share are the items that we got from Ikea. And like I said, they were just um, art items because 
I needed to replace the ones that we've already run out of and I really like to buy art supplies from Ikea because they're really inexpensive and the kids running through them is no big deal. I'm starting to invest in um, better quality art supplies for Cameron because he's older and he's a lot more interested um, so I do have a set of, um, of better art supplies for him but for the kids for the little kids, the times when they just want to paint and make a mess and have a whole lot of fun, um, IKEA art supplies are like the best. I just picked up these basic colored paints and um, I got these little stampers. I thought Savannah would really enjoy stamping with these. Some markers, some colored pencils. I don't know how great they're going to be, but we'll see. So, some colored pencils. And then I got this set of uh, paints. These are the metallic and the bright colored paints. They're super cute, super inexpensive. And that is pretty much it for everything that I got at Ikea. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to what I got at Ollie's. The first thing I got at Ollie's was this a children's Bible. It is children in the Bible. It's not a children's Bible, I'm sorry. It is a book about children in the Bible. Um, I thought this was really cute. The kids, of course, started off with the that basic, smaller, thick one that Cameron made the cover to because the cover fell off. <laughs> but they love those stories. They love the illustrations. They love following them along, and I love them too. But um, they have completely read through that several times, so I wanted to try to find them something else. And I found this really, really cute, um, really, really cute children in the Bible book. And she basically goes through and illustrates them beautifully, and then it tells the stories of different children in the Bible. They like it so far. I've seen them crack it open um, quite a few times, but she'll just highlight different children like Samuel. And there are such beautiful illustrations, you guys. The next was a set. It was. It didn't come as a set, but um, they're all they are all part of a collection. And this was by Holy Moly. These are just little books um, telling the stories. Some of the stories in the Bible. They have really cute illustrations, and then they have like a spot for them to color and drawing activities inside. This one is Jesus feeds five thousand. And you guys this is only $1.99 so I got uh, Jesus feeds 5,000 Jesus ascends Saul meets Jesus the story of Moses and God's promise and then I got um, the story of creation so I thought these were really really cute and you guys they were only $1.99 so why not so let's go ahead and get into the rest of the stuff that I got at Ollie's first I'll start with the build a scorpion you guys know that my kids really like these Silver Dolphin Books build kits. So this one we did not have. It was four bucks and it is Build the Scorpion. Like it's four dollars, you guys. I think if you look on Amazon, it might be closer to like, I don't know, something I didn't really want to pay. So um, finding them at Ollie's is like wonderful. So we added this to our collection. The next thing I got was a set of, I think all of these, all of these are Discovery Kids items, which I really enjoy. They have really cute illustrations and lots of cool information, and they're really engaging for the kids to read through the books themselves and find out different facts and things. So I love the Discovery Kids, um, a lot of the Discovery Kids uh, items that they put out. So these were the Discovery Kids Factivity. I have the bigger Factivity books, well, which I'll show you, but these are little um, activity booklets. And these were a dollar and 30 cents, you guys, and they have um, four cards with 20 facts on them. They're like little hologram cards, really cute. They have lots of fun activities inside. So I think this is a nice little addition to any type of unit study we're doing or if they just wanna dive into some information. So I thought these were really cute. I got this one, the World of Dinosaurs, the sticker activity, um, sticker activity booklet. Then I got another one. I was thinking this was more appropriate for Savannah's age and this is about dinosaurs as well. And then here's another one, a sticker activity booklet. And this one's about space and it has four little cards with 20 facts in it. So you really, really can't beat this for a dollar and 30 cents. It's great to just keep them busy for a minute or keep them engaged. So I thought these were really fun. I also picked this one up. This one is about dinosaurs. We love these activity books and this was only three bucks. 
Then I got this Discovery Kids Animals book, uh, Discover the Amazing Diversity of Nature. So they always have beautiful illustrations and then really awesome pictures and facts and things like that. So, yeah, spiders again, you guys. Why, Jesus? <laughs> anyway. Then I picked up these two. These are also Discovery Kids, and I showed you um, the other one we have, which is, I think, The Human Body. Um, it has a DVD right inside left, and so this one is Sharks, and it just has the DVD on the left side and then an encyclopedia on the right side. This is not something that we use too often just because it's got a chop full of information um it's it's exactly what it says it is it's more like an encyclopedia it's helpful to me when the kids are asking me questions and then i can take them on a little journey to go and open up our book and see if we can find the answers um most of the time we just go straight to the internet to try to find information but i also like to have um, a physical book of some sort to be able to look at and use as a resource with the kids while I'm trying to teach them that if they have a question and they want to know the answer to something, that there are different ways that they can go about finding the answer. So these types of books are really awesome for that. Um, we don't use them heavily, but if we need them, and if the questions come up, they're here and I like to have them um, for that reason. So I got sharks and then I also got earth. So it's the same thing. Um, there's a DVD inside and then there's an encyclopedia as well. And so that's what I got you guys. So anyway, it is freezing out here and I want to get back inside to the kids. But I wanted to stop in really quickly and just show you what we picked up from Ollie's. You know that's my place. And also Ikea, great spot for inexpensive art items. Thank you for subscribing to our channel and supporting us. I really appreciate all your comments and your emails. It's really wonderful to have this little community, this little spot. So I'm really grateful for this little space of ours, like I always say, because it's true. You guys, check this out. So Savannah, these are the colors, the crayons that she chooses. She picked out mostly all of the pink and purple ones. Yeah, and yellow, blue, <laughs> brown, apple. That's it. Yep, so she's got... All the pink and purple ones. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Visit our blog at serenabblog.com backslash homeschool. Follow us on Instagram at serenabee and leave a comment to say hi. Bye.